Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nate Savage here, and this week's video is pretty challenging. We're looking at the second solo from the Guns N' Roses song, Sweet Child of Mine, and my pinky is very sore. That should make you feel a little bit better. Anyway, if you haven't already, go to guitarfam.com and create your complimentary account. Uh, you'll be able to access the first module of all of our premium courses when you do that, and you can also find the tab and jam track for this solo there as well. All right, before we get into this, let me just walk you through what I'm using for the tone on this. Uh, I'm using uh, the Tonex plugin or the pedal, and uh, it's something, a preset called Slashes 2020, 2010 uh, Tour Version 1. Um, any Marshall will do if you're using an amp modeler. I'm running into um, that into an HX stomp for the reverbs. I just have a room reverb on, and uh, I believe it's the 63 Spring Legacy reverb, and I'm using the wah pedal from the HX stomp to the Weeper model. Okay, after going through the ringer and learning this, uh, what I'd suggest doing is just take this uh, one lick at a time, because really it is just a bunch of licks strung together. And usually I go through and tell you um, the chord shapes or you know the scale shapes that I'm using here, but it's really the majority of the time it's just a standard minor pentatonic that shape. And I am down tuned to E flat. Just so you know, so it's E. I'm saying E shapes, but it's really E flat. Okay, so this first lick I really don't think about. A shape I just memorized it, and that was, I found out the fastest way to do it. Go to eight nine on uh, the G string with your uh, second and third fingers, and those are palm muted. And then I go over to seven eight seven with a hammer and a pull off on the B string. So after that little hammer on a pull off, go back to nine on the G string with your third finger. Back to seven on the B string with the first finger. And then I go 10 on the B string with my pinky. Slide up to 12. And then I go eight. Reach back to eight of the high E string with my index finger. Back to 12 with my pinky on the B string. Then 11 on the high E string with my third finger. Back to 12 on the B string with my pinky. So, so far we have One more time, quickly. Okay, once you reach that 12th, I go back to eight on the high E string, play eight with my index finger, 11 with my third finger, then 12 with my pinky, then I slide up to 14, then back to 11 with my first finger, then 12, second finger, 14 with my pinky, slide up to 15, then back to 12 with my index finger, then 14, then 15 with my pinky, pull off 12, 15 of the B string, then 14 of the high A string with my third finger, then I reach all the way up to 16 with my pinky on the B string, and then I go to 12, 14, 12, pick, Hammer on, pull off on the high E string, back to 15. On the B string with my pinky, 12. On the high E string, and to finish this off, we have a little 15th fret of the B string, bent up, let back down, and then pull off to 12. Now, again, just take this as slow as you possibly can, just get the sequence down, worry about the rhythm later. Uh, at least that's what I recommend doing. Listen to it over and over and over again. The more you listen to it, the more you hear the rhythm in your head. You just match the notes up uh, to the rhythm. Let me play the whole thing slowly for you. It's a little bit faster. Speed. And that gets us into the next little lick. And it starts off, hey, don't worry, it calms down for a while from here. Uh, just bends up on the fifth, the next measure bends up on the 15th friend. This is where we're fully into kind of our E minor pentatonic E minor shape, you know. So 15th fret. And then do it again. 
put some vibrato, vibrato on it, and then you leave it bent up, hit it again, let it down, pull off to 12, then hit 14. And that exact same lick is in the next measure, so you have one, two, three, four. Then do it again. And take that as your next lick. And one thing I should mention here is uh, Slash uses his third finger a lot. I use my pinky a lot. Do whichever one works best for you. So you have that. From there, move up to the 17th fret of the uh, B string. I use my pinky again here. You can use your third finger. I then I bend up full step there, 17. And uh, there's something weird going on in the recording here. I couldn't really tell what was going on at first, but the more I listen to it, I think this is what's happening. Uh, 17th fret bent up, do it again. With some vibrato the second time. And then my pinky is already hitting the 17th fret of the G string. It's kind of pushing that G string up against it too. I think what happens here is instead of just hitting the third time, instead of just hitting the 17th fret of the B string, hit 17th fret of the G and B string. So. So you hear that little kind of dissonant sound here, I think that's what's happening. And then from there, next measure, bend 17 up again, a full step, and then the next bend is a step and a half. And then next bend is a, just a full step. And then hit it again while it's bent up. Let it down and then pull off to 15. So let me do those two measures of the bends on 17, that would be measures five and six if you're looking at the tab. So here you go, one, two, three, four. So look at that as your next lick to get down. So we play that whole uh, first uh, two little systems there for you. Uh, from there, the next measure we go. We have a hit 15 with my middle finger and hammer on to 17 of the B string. And from there, I go back to 15 of the B string with my fourth finger or your third finger. If you want to use that, bend that up a whole step. And then 12 of the high A string. And 15, 12 of the B string. So that measure, one, two, three, four. Okay, for the next measure, go over to 14 of the G string, pre-bend it up a full step. Let it back down. And then pull off to 12. And then back to 14, some vibrato. 12, 14, again vibrato. 12 again, and then 14, whole step bed. All right, so this uh, lick kind of bleeds over to the next measure. Let me play that uh, measure eight, starting on 14, that pre-bend. Then for the next measure, on the end of one, you have a, a choked 12 of uh, 12th fret of the G string. And then back to 14. The third finger, back to 12 on the G string. So I consider that like kind of its own thing before moving on to the next one. And here's the next one. Okay. And let's just break that apart. So get set up on your, you know, regular uh, E minor pentatonic here at home base. You have your third finger on the 14th fret, and your pinky is going to crime grab the 15th fret of the B and high E strings. Now it's a little, I don't want to say it's sloppy, but it's kind of just uh, hitting a, a lot of the strings. And I figure what makes um, this easiest to play is he has this kind of repeating motif five times, and I just alternate what happens on the top strings, I'll show you. So you go bend 14 up and hold it out as you hit 15 on the B string. So bend the 14th fret of the G string up, full step, let it ring out, and then hit the 15th fret of the B string. And then do it again, but then I hit that B and high E strings. Then I do it again, and then hit just 15, and then same thing, bend 14 up, hit 15 to the high E and B strings. And then the last time, it's just uh, 14, 15 of the B string. Okay, so think of that as a lick on its own and it's just. 
thing. And when you do it fast, I'm really not that particular about it. And just like whatever's ringing out, rings out. And that's kind of the attitude he has toward this. He's just like, uh, just go for it. Uh, after that, you go 14, bend it up of the G string, a whole full step and let it back down. Pull off to 12, and then 14 of the uh, D string, roll over to 14 of the G string, pull off to 12, and then two muted 16th notes on, on the D uh, string there. And I just hit 14 there. Cause I'm already, I'm already kind of in that mode from the 14, the previous 14 on there. So um, let me string that whole thing together with the little bendy leg. Here you go. One more time, a little faster. One, two, three, four. From there I have just this little quarter step bend on the 12th fret of the G string. Then 14, pull off to 12, 14. So, then two little ghost notes, two little muted notes. And then 12, 14, 12, hammer on pull off. So pick, hammer on pull off, and then back to 14. And then the next measure repeats the exact same lick. So here's the, uh, the lick. And then the next measure repeats the exact same lick. So here it is the first time I measure 11. Then repeat it. So that little lick up to speed twice. One, two, three, four. Okay, and we're still in E minor pentatonic standard shape uh, for the last little bit and this little next part coming up. Uh, here's the lick for the next one that you have to really isolate and slow this one down. One, two, three, and four, and. And then at the end of it, yeah. And that'll lead you into the next lick. Let's uh, take this uh, one note at a time. So you have two 12s, and these are all 16th notes, basically, except for the couple eighth notes in here that you'll see. Uh, two 12th frets of the G string, so da, da, and then 14 12 on the D string with a, a pick and a pull off, so 14 pull off to 12. And then go over to 14 of the G string with your third finger and hit 14 twice, pull off to 12, and then go back to 14. That's the next little group of four notes. Then go to 12 of the B string, hit that twice with your index finger. And then over to 14, pull off to 12 on the G string. Then 15 of the uh, B string twice. And pull off to 12, and that's where you have an eighth note instead of a 16th note. That pull off to is just an eighth note there on that 12th fret. So then you have the next string over, 12 twice with your index finger on the high A string. And then 15, 12, pull off on the B string. And those are all 16 notes. And then you have uh, 15, twice on the high A string with your pinky or third finger. Pull off to 12, that's another eighth note. And then an eighth note on 15, then eighth note on 14. And then a quick triplet on 15, 12, 15. And you hit 15, pick it, 12, pick it, hammer on, and then pull off to 12 again. And that's really the end of that lick, so I'm gonna do it one more time slow and then fast, so. A little bit faster for you for context, and again, listen to this over and over again uh, to get the rhythm for it down. Not of the crazy bluesy rock and roll bending lick that I think every guitar player, any rock player, should definitely learn. Start off on 15, and this is the last 16th note of a measure 14, and it starts to get into this, like, and it's tied to a 16th note in the beginning of the next measure. Again, the rhythm is a little bit tricky here, so I'll just recommend listening to it over and over again. Learn, like paint by numbers, where to put your fingers, and then listen to the rhythm over and over again, and bring the two together when you have both of them down. So 15 of the B string, 12 of the high E string, 15, 12 of the B string, the pick and a pull, and then 14 of the G string with the full step bend there. 
and then 12 of the high A string, and then 15, 12 of the B string with a pick and a pull. And that, that um, lick just repeats several times. So you have, then do it again. Do it again. And right here is where things kind of turn around a little bit and um, <clears throat> get ready to go into the next part. You have 14, then 12, 15, 12. And that's really kind of the, the turnaround as far as uh, the rhythm of the lick because it moves to a 16th note bass thing for the most part here instead of the triplet uh, thing. So from the beginning, Then 15, bent up, 12 of the high A string, 15, 12, and that's where it moves back to triplets too, is on this 12, 15, pull off to 12, and then 14, and this is kind of a, gar a little bit garbly sounding here, it's really fast, on the way to the next lick. So you have 12, 14 on the G string, bent up a full step, and then a quick uh, triplet run, same thing, 12, 15, 12 on the B string, high A string 12, 15, 12 on the B string, and that gets you into the next lick. So let me play that for you just a little bit slower. And that last 15 uh, that I just bent up to, though that I just bent on the high A string is really the first note of the next lick. I'm gonna play this a little bit faster for you so you can get some context for it, so. And that, as soon as we bend that up, we bend it up a full step, and then the next measure, you keep going to a step and a half, then let it down, play 15 again. And that gets us into the very final lick of, um, and this one I found to be the most challenging just because it's a little bit weird and it's pretty fast. So you have a big triplet on 12, 15, 12. So pick, hammer on, pull off on the high A string. And then you change to 16 you notes know, and play 15 of the B string, 12 of the high E. And then 15 again, but a little full step bent. And then 12 again of the high A string. Now it's 15 of the B, 12 of the high E, right? And then go back to the B and two more 16 notes. 15, 12, pick, pull off. Then you have 14, and you're gonna do a quick full step bend and release, and that'll be it. Your first two triplets, and then you pull off to the 12 for your third triplet in that little group of, okay? And then you have 14th fret of that uh, same G string. Bent up, then come reach up and grab the 15th fret of the B string with your pinky, and then come back to the 14th fret of the G string. Full step bend. Release, pull off to 12, come over, grab the 14th fret of the D string, roll over to 14 of the G string, pick it, pull off to 12, 14 of the D string, and then hit 12 of the G string, slide down to two, and then slide back up. And uh, one thing that I should mention here is like, I have the wah pedal going the whole time, and I, I'm, I'm just using uh, the Weeper model on the HX stomp with a Mission Audio Expression pedal, but let me play that last um, uh, little lick for you from the from the bend. A little bit faster for you. All right, that's it for this one. Uh, if you have any questions on this particular solo, you know, the techniques or skills used in it, let me know in the comments. Also let us know what other songs you like to see taught here on the channel. We really appreciate it. And if you haven't already yet, go to guitarfam.com, create your complimentary account, You'll be able to access the first module of all of our premium courses and even sign up to take a complimentary one-on-one -on -one private lesson with me. I'll see you.